back home here in Nigeria, folklore and culture enthusiast Olado Tun Okelwo Alani, popularly known as Dotty the Deity, is gradually gaining public consciousness with his sonorous delivery, riding on the fame of winning the music competition Yellow Star in 2020. Dotty the Deity has raised his craft beyond making pop sound to creating an alternative mix of African folk infused with sundry elements to chart his own course in the ever dynamic music soundscape. Today he gets on our spotlight on the program, so enjoy. As your kid from Africa, see the world that I'm eyes of this wonderful girl said Makes me know that my dreams are valid If I keep keeping up, then I come to pass, yeah You is inspiration, so divine Um, first of, creativity is everywhere, it's around us, you know It's really much what you tap into, you know, what you allow yourself to absorb You know, and I, for, pers for a person, I have grown, I had grown up in a home where culture and music, indigenous music was something that was a day-to-day -day thing. It was just normal and natural, you know. I grew up on listening to Ebenezer Obey, Barista and all of that, you know, and it was something that stayed with me all long, all, all time long. And of course, growing up, I've been influenced by different music from different parts of the world, jazz, soul and all of that. But I decided to stay rooted and stay connected to my roots. And so, yeah. Oh, So um, this is a question that I get asked every time, <laughs> you know, and funny enough, I always try to avoid it because, I mean, sometimes you, you know, there's a larger picture, you know, and everyone is playing their part in promoting the culture, say Afrobeats, but I'm more, um, so instead of calling the genre or something, I'm more, I'm more call people that some people are more related to, so I could say that I'm a new generation of the people that you're used to, say Beautiful Nubia, say Brimo, say Asha, I'm a potpourri of all of that, King Sonia Adi and all of that. You know, I'm making indigenous music that is, that it, that can connect to the generation of now and even the people bef behind us, I mean, before us, you know. Now, the lowest of the low right now. I think that I've been given, I've been blessed with a gift that is supposed to be used to affect my environment, my, the people around me in such a way that it's beyond the money as how do they heal when they listen to my music? Is there something spiritual about when they listen? Is there something happening to them beyond just dancing and <laughs> twerking like you said? You know, so it's <laughs> so that's a lot of things that I think about like because I mean since I put out my music I see people at weddings in recent times, I go to weddings and I see how they're excited, singing the song to their loved ones, talking about how, how they want to spend their forever with that person in a more deep way rather than just dancing. You know, it means it makes meaning to them because it's a language that they understand. It's a language that is closer to them. Even people that don't speak Yoruba, it's just there's just something that connects that they connect with beyond the fact that oh, it's just a song that they dance to. You know, of course, I make music that you dance because our culture is a culture that loves. To dance but then i mean it's not this it, there's no formula to it there are people that have, they've done dance music over time people dance to bata and all of that so yes you will dance to my music of course <laughs> a project out that i put out in may so it's pretty much new it's titled for you knew me um and it's it was me 
documenting it's the seven songs that documented the relationship that i was in for nine months was toxic you know the highs were really high the lows were low and i really just wanted to document it in a very real way i'm a yoruba boy but i speak english i have influences from different parts of the world i just wanted to speak i just wanted to relate that message in my own language in my own voice pretty much and that's what i have done with that project i've got some people talking about how much they are feeling and relating to that content you know of course i have the biggest song the wed biggest wedding song right now you know it's titled forever sweet if you go on tiktok instagram people are using the song and i put that out last year you know and yeah of course i'm working on other projects right now matter of fact i have like three projects i'm working on i don't know which one will come out first <laughs> so. I don't die.